So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we're going to check how the flatten offset actually works. So in order to know what flatten offset does, let's just go ahead and basically console log the values of pan before and after the flatten log happens. Right? So you're going to go ahead and see that when I save this, go back to my console, clear the console and move it a little and release my finger, what happens is that before we have this set of values and after we have this set of values, not very useful. So let's just get out, for example, let's just get out the X value only, right? And we're going to make a new object so that we do not really lose the reference to that particular thing after the animation is done. So here we are, clear screen, move this bad boy, release the finger, there we go. All right, so what we have in here, let's see. So we have before, we have a value of 129 point something, and after we have a value of 129 point something. Fair enough, let's try it one more time. I'm gonna move this now, release the finger, and we have a before value of 129, uh, we have a value this time of two point something and the value now is 131. So you see what really happened here was the last time when we did the animation, it stored the value in the offset, right? So let's just go ahead and do one more set and you're going to understand it very nicely. So what we're going to do is move it just bottom so that it has minimum X movement. So now if I go ahead and see, you're going to see the value is six point, whatever it is. The offset is 131 and after the value is 138. So essentially what you can observe, what this pan, uh, pan flatten offset is doing is it's adding this particular offset right here, uh, this particular offset right here in the main value and then setting the offset to zero. Now, the thing is, the value really determines where the circle is on the screen, right? And when the value is computed, it is computed with the offset. So the real value is actually offset plus value, right? So when you compute this value, which is 138, what you do is you do 138 plus zero, which is 138. And when you compute this value, you do 136.131.66 plus 6.33, which is again 138. So this is the reason why you do not see any difference in between in before and after positions um, when this function is fired because the net real value is same, right? The real value remains same, but what happens is that the offset is set to zero. Now, why is this important? Well, you see that whenever I start a new gesture, what is really being report recorded by the dx and dy variables is the offset, right? It is not the absolute coordinates. dx and dy are not the absolute coordinates on the screen. They are the offsets. And what I set in the value are the offsets of, um, you know, from the original position to where it is. So when I'm moving this on the screen, this is going, the position of the circle is going into the x value and the y value. And we already have an offset present in the value, which is then applied to the whole translate x and translate y, right? Because this view, this whole view has a certain x and y position here. And when you do a translate from that position, you need a global value. I hope you're understanding this. I hope, I really hope you're understanding this because um, if not, just, just watch this video again and you would, trust me, you would. So what's happening here is that gesture.dx, again, I'm just gonna explain it one more time. Gesture.dx contains the delta value from the initial position, in this case, this, this particular position, to this, right? So if I move it just down, dx would be zero, right? And if I move it just on the right, dy would be zero, right? So it's the apps, it's the relative position change. That is being set to the pan.x and pan.y respectively, right? So that is the value which is then computed here. So pan.x, when you access it, it gives you this whole value, one, 191 plus offset, right? So it gives you the main value plus the offset value, right? 
when you release your finger, what pan.flatten offset does is that it would add the offset to the main value and it will uh, clear off the offset. Why does it do that? Uh, or actually, um, yeah, it clear off the offset. Why does it do that? Because when you start moving it again, it's going to supply the delta value this time. And now what you need is you also need the record of the previous value because your transforms are not relative to your last position. They are absolute transforms, right? So they are absolutely transforming from the initial position, the initial point your component was rendered to the final point. But it has to give a look that you can, um, you know, pick up the pro object from anywhere and start working, working on it, right? So this is why it is really important you clear the offsets using the flatten offset. Otherwise, you'll get a lot of bugs. Well, that was one hell of an explanation, I think. Um, yeah, that was not really required to be known by, uh, you know, you do not really, really, really need to know about this in order to work on that. I could just have thrown it there. But I thought that it would make much more sense if you guys understood every last detail of how the pan just responder system works. So yeah, there we are. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.